Hallelujah. Keep praying. Sheba kota sita bala da bala. Dembro to supra to shapara ataba. Rapa koto supra tiki di bala da bala. Lord, you are changing our lives. In the name of Jesus, you are changing our lives. In the name of Jesus, we'll never be the same. You are making mysteries out of us. Hallelujah. 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 I really want to commend our seriousness. When God calls you to dwell in his presence every day, is because he's doing something in your life. Hallelujah. Please sit down for a few minutes. I just want to encourage us and then we will pray. Hallelujah. One of the... Please, those outside, make sure you participate. One of the killers of grace, one of the killers of impact, one of the killers of a life of color and beauty is pride, vain glory. I have seen in my little life, I've seen people rise to the top and crash back. Hallelujah. One of the one of the the worst comments that can be made about a man is I remember the days when this person used to be mighty. There are pastors with those kinds of testimonies. I remember when the hand of God used to be upon my life. I remember when ministry used to expand. I taught a message I think two or three years ago called the secret of sustained glory. Please you can get it after the service and listen to it. There is nothing as ugly as tasting increase, greatness, honor and crashing down and becoming a monument of warning to others. And they say beware of so 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 person. Pride. Let me tell you something. It's my personal opinion. Now, sin is sin. But if I were to arrange sin, I consider pride to be worse than fornication. Hallelujah. Pride. That, that mystery that has destroyed people. You see, let me tell you something. When God begins to lift you, Satan is not a fool. He will study your vulnerability. You are not given to women. Satan will not carry a lady and come and destroy you. He knows that you have built capacity to resist it. He will not use money. But he knows that enshrined in every man is the desire to receive the accolades of men. And this is where the mighty fall. What a woman may not be able to do in the life of a man or, the, or a man as it is. What money may not be able to do. What persecution will not be able to do. You will stab yourself with pride. Vain glory. That affinity for the applause of men. And let me tell you something. God is speaking to us to warn us. I have seen people. I have watched people. I have watched them nurture the seed of pride. I have watched them nurture it carefully to grow. The first sign. That pride, pride is at work in your life. Is that submission becomes an embarrassment. To anybody, to anything, submission becomes an embarrassment. It's a sign that you're already dying from pride. Not just submission to a man of God. Submission to principles. Oh, everyone lift up your hands and you just stand and you're watching. Lift up your hands for what now, eh? The seed of pride. Submission. Thank you. Very important. 
Galatians 5 26 we just look at two scriptures I really want to challenge us on this because I have seen this thing kill people men women I've seen and you know the, the, the interesting thing about God is he gives you a measure of what he really intends giving you and watches your reaction and many of us shock God and shock ourselves with pride and arrogance let us not be desirous of vain glory vain glory vain glory and a sign that the desire of vain glory is at work in you is that you begin to provoke people you begin to envy vain glory you see there are two dimensions to pride i want us to pray against today the first dimension is we were discussing i think with Ejimi earlier on this morning and he was just asking me a few questions and we're really discussing very interesting discussion there are two dimensions to pride the first is the one you organize for yourself so i can sit down right now apostle joshua selman the great man of god and i find some of the leaders and some of the people pastor alpha pastor femi all the people and i say look create a scenario that drums my impact before everybody so it's arranged on purpose are we together now that's the first dimension of pride so whether it is by creating certain names or creating certain things you you create a system and that's not honor because i seek to use people to establish my relevance as against their own relevance now the second dimension of pride is where many of us are victims of and we don't know you may not create the seed but it is a desire you nurse in your heart and the day someone else creates it you will jump at it hallelujah you will jump at it you may never ask anybody to open <laughs> look listen to me and learn and grow and walk in power someone may look at you and say ah um you may never tell anybody to call you great man of god but it's a desire in your heart and the day somebody says do you know you are such an awesome man you say what did you say can you repeat it again he only stimulated something that has been there waiting for occasion to find expression many of us think because we are not the ones arranging the scenario it means we are free from pride sometimes humility is it takes effort you must reject certain you must peg honor and say no this has come too far it must remain here by yourself i watch men of god on tv sadly i don't criticize men of god but i have watched people and i see like you pour cold water on a thirsty soul that's how they drink pride they drink it as members in you see honor has a boundary once you cross that boundary it no longer becomes honor the character of pride is that you find fault in the glory of others so the character of pride is everybody must be down for you to be satisfied if we are all lifted you are not satisfied because the goal of pride is to attempt to show the excellency of your stature as against somebody so pride does not um, is not satisfied when you are lifted it checks if others are down when they are down then you are satisfied are you getting that now so if we say oh thank you pastor alpha thank you ebenezer thank you ejimi ebenezer gets angry and say no 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 if you had said thank you pastor alpha um but i'm disappointed in you ejimi you didn't do well but you are exceptional he says now you have honored me because you have honored me by contrasting others that's the spirit of pride so it wants to stand alone there are men of god who have created all kinds of theologies in their ministry to downplay any once they see an offshoot of true grace they strangle it with teachings they threaten people with causes because there is insecurity locked up in them hallelujah are we together now vain glory a lost for the praise of men it's amazing how we look for it we beg for it we organize programs for it 
we organize sons and daughters for it you see men of god running around can you make my birthday i mean make noise with it so t-shirt so ankara and put everything just make sure everybody around knows and we laugh it's a dangerous thing i always say this bless people and give them the option of appreciating you by themselves they will surprise you they will surprise you i run away from pride ego like a cancer there are men of god who do not see eyeball to eyeball because somebody was called mister by mistake i remember i think my people will bear me witness we went we were in um i think it was enugu towards the end of last year and i went to minister in a crusade there and it was a great meeting people came around and there was a gentleman i think he's a pastor pastor's son so they introduced him mistakenly they said brother so 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 and so i saw the way the guy moved you know with anger and insults to my grace you don't know who i am and he climbed up the stage and the first thing he said with look my name is pastor so 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 not brother so 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 and he challenged them to correct it and then the next thing he raised one song and said i hope there are ushers here because the power of god will start moving i just said ah yeah my brother you have done two mistakes one you have refused to recognize grace let me tell you when you enter a place where there is a higher grace if you don't if you don't honor it even your angelic activity will be seized there is ranking in the spirit that's why jesus looked for john the baptist who is the man with the mantle in the city and when he submitted and acknowledged him his own ministry opened up i said this boy is a very foolish boy you came and you saw pastors all over pastors you will not see you don't even know who they came to honor you don't know why they are there you see some of us are cheated because we don't know how to take advantage of opportunities god gives you a privilege to stand in the midst of people that you never would have had access to and you blew it because of pride god wants to announce your ministry and he gives you an opportunity to take offering in a church that on a good day you should not even be found in front and you come up and say i just want to let you know that my email address is uh so 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 and so and so and i don't attend to calls anyhow in fact the way the ministry is growing now how many members 20 30 45 there's a young man i will not mention his name in the body of christ he had contact to Benny him very small boy Benny him prophesied his birth many of you may know him this little boy had unusual access I saw the way Benihin was lifting him because Benihin took him like a son. Within weeks, his ministry exploded. And this guy will be arrogant on stage. Imagine sharing the stage with an authority like Benihin. And one time I watched the guy. He was talking and he looked at Mike Mudok. He said, get a pen, get a pen, quickly. Get a pen and a book. And I was watching him. And he said, write this. It was an accurate prophecy. But when he wrote everything, I said, this guy's grace has died. He didn't reach one year. Have you not seen people rise up in the church? I'm not going to mention names, but you know. People rise up and it's like God just withdraws the grace. Pride. Pride is dangerous. Dangerous. And so that gentleman, he said, I hope there are ushers. Please, I want you to station yourself, move around because the spirit of prophecy is upon me. I, I sang one song, sang another. The people were angry. They were tired. They came with hunger. You know, imagine that kind of thing. They gave him time. He obviously overshot the time and then he started prophesying. Now everybody lift up your hands. Right now the power of God will move. People waited five minutes. It's always pride leads to destruction, embarrassment and so on and so forth. That guy did his best. He may have seen grace walk in his church and he did not know the protocol of maintaining it. God would have honored that guy in no small way if he allowed God to lift him. And the guy got up and made noise and was challenging the people because they always would look for an excuse. Moved around one lady, two ladies, and he left with all kinds of disappointment back to his seat. Brothers and sisters, at the end of that meeting, this guy was shocked and he stood. Do you know it's painful when you make noise over something and it doesn't happen and somebody else comes and is so effortless. The more it happens, the more people say, can you see? This is what you would have been. Pride is dangerous. Is God speaking to us? 
the bible says when you enter a place sit at the back it's a principle when you enter a place let your work speak for you don't speak for it proverbs 31 he said let her work speak for her at the gate you come around with one album and say i'm 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 an anointed i'm a psalmist I have my psalmist if you just give me five minutes i will i will surprise you in this church it's a sign that nobody is a testament of the transformation that has come from your grace but when you allow god lift you listen koinonia i'm teaching you something run away from the quest for vain glory sometimes men will try to do it stop it i was rebuking some of this my young people that i help at, at times i saw some of them and when i see them among their contemporaries i see them standing i say you are already learning this nonsense i remember someone here he, he used to be here i looked at him one day and i said come and stand here he came and i said you are soon going to fall i see pride eating you up like a cancer and he looked at me he said me i told him i said there are many things i don't claim to know but there are certain things i know I know when a man is about to fall you see there are some of you who will honor anybody above you but when you are among your contemporaries that's when the pride comes you are forced to honor someone above you because of solidarity but when you are among your contemporaries let the power of God begin to move in a meeting and you see the way men of God their body is itching for Mike everybody wants to hold the mic when the service is over somebody comes to pick a mic and say hold on give me e we are, we are not done the, what god is doing here all those things we think there's there are signs of spiritual maturity there are signs of childishness childishness we went for a meeting in yola we we're going to pray it was a crusade in yola and i was ministering alongside God's servant Dr. Paul and Enche. I know that that's a great man. I've seen God honor me. But that's a father in the faith. God has lifted him. I will not sit down and begin to compare my ministry. It will be stupidity of the highest order. He's older than me. God has honored him. God has lifted him. He has become a model to the body of Christ. I know what many of us will do. You will try to make sure you snap with him and say, I've shared the stage with men like... Uh, so on and so forth and so forth and you you just sink yourself down. you can ask the protocol i remember his his head of protocol was communicating with victor and he was excited about being my being around he had he heard about me and he wanted he wanted me to be there at the venue right he was actually coming for his own crusade dr paul and then he he was also to minister where i was ministering it was a campus crusade and this is what the protocol said the night i went for the meeting there the power of god was awesome i mean mighty things miracles upon miracles and i knew that the people respect me they respect me so much and if i came there together with dr paul Enche, they will want to honor dr paul Enche, but they will not want to dishonor me so they may try to create the same platform and i rejected i said i'm not going i said i'm not going for the meeting you can ask the head of protocol they said no 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 i should come around you'll be wonderful i said i am not going i told them we're not going anywhere let the servant of god receive the honor due his sacrifice we will come in the evening and finish the meeting many of you will not do that because you are looking for platform one day i went somewhere and one guy just came and stood near me like a thief that we should snap he's a pastor i was just looking at him because he will use my picture and take it to his ministry and say we ministered with men like uh, this person apostle was there and and think that snapping the picture is an endorsement of his ignorance and carelessness humility entails that you consciously reject certain things not every open door was opened by god you need to know if the timing is right to enter it hallelujah don't think because a door is open and you want to enter no sometimes god can say no your level has not gotten to this although the door is open stay quietly is god speaking to us this happens in every area of life that's why many of us will never rise there are ladies here you love god but the day god gives you an opportunity 
you'll be amazed at the pride and arrogance and god is watching how you are disqualifying yourself and allowing this ancient stumbling block of pride to stop you from stepping into the next level i fear pride i run from it hallelujah i, I can't remember where i was sharing this testimony about a woman who um carried something you know load and i saw her and i was in a hurry to help her carry the load no matter how i'm lifted i know that i'm not stupid not at all humility humility there are many of you if if you were the ones who were privileged to stand where i'm standing you see crowds of people inside and outside there will be one pa to clean your left shoe there will be another pa to clean your right shoe are we together there is the one who he will not just give you handkerchief you will put your face like this and you will clean it that's what kills men years ago in your campus years ago many people who have been there long ago will tell you there were many pastors on campus ministry i mean somebody will have five members three PAs, two ladies, one guy, I want to go on TV ministry. You see people holding box as if they are bankers. What are they doing? I am prophet this. I am apostle this. I am, I remember one pastor came and met me and said, man of God, what is the, your grace? You need to go on air, go on radio. Many of those people, some are not even in ministry till now. Some are still roaming around, wondering what to do. God himself opposes the proud. But he gives grace to the humble. I was counseling a gentleman. Maybe he's here with his mother. And the mother said something and the boy just shouted at her. Ah, my name is Joshua Selman. I turned to that boy and I landed it on him. I said, apologize to mama immediately. Otherwise, you have subtracted your years in life. The Bible says, he that dishonored his father. He said his, candles will be, his candle will be taken and will be left in obscurity. Honor humility hallelujah humility is god is my witness it's just that the protocol and all these people will never allow me i don't mind coming in the afternoon to clean the benches and do all the things i need to do it doesn't change me it doesn't change me true confidence is not in things around it's in who you are if I clean a chair today, it does not make me less anointed. Listen, God is speaking to us. This is why some of us cannot be workers in the house of God. Because we think God has lifted me. And people are aware. That's the devil destroying you. There are ladies today who cannot quietly sweep the house of God. Because they feel kind. There is a man of God I met somewhere. He's a pastor and he said he likes me. And I'm already imagining myself as a mama. Let me tell you, I know the end of that relationship. Nonsense. Let me just tell you in advance. Because God is not a fool. He will not carry his servant that he has been laboring on and then attach you to kill his life. I hate pride. Our daddy is here almost every time. Prof, do you know that I'm even afraid I always tell him that when I grow up, I want to be like him. A man that is so fulfilled and yet very humble. There are all kinds of distinguished people here. Day before yesterday, or was it I, I introduced um, um, Madam Ladi, and she was even quarreling me. She was saying, why did I expose her? There are lots of other people, distinguished people scattered. But there are people who will come and stand outside and say, tell the protocol I'm around. Who are you? My name is Pastor, Pastor, um, Goodwill, something. Uh, so what? I mean, you can imagine. I came all the way from Kaduna. Let them know that I'm around and give you seat. The Lord told me, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. You know why some pastors will never have crowd? 
they can preach everything and criticize people who have pride god knows the moment they see crowd the first thing in their mind is how do i get lifted if everybody gives me ten ten thousand it's a lucrative business if everybody does this and that humility by the grace of god almighty i never treat people and say do you know i'm a man of god no it is it is this ministry is a call to serve it's a privilege i'm not embarrassed about it i will say it all the time it's a privilege to serve god i was crying before the lord today and i said lord it's a privilege to serve never replace me with a stone never replace me god has power to replace any man i teach the leaders all the time when we go for leaders meeting the first thing i tell them is guys thank you so much people look at koinonia and they are looking at me but you are the brains behind some of these things that we do do you have the humility to acknowledge the impute of others to your success or do you make it look like they played a little role but after i fasted and prayed no i learned from everyone everyone and i treat people with dignity and humility ask the protocol how many times i've rebuked them just for telling people at the back shift 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 apostle is coming and i tell them never do that never do that i know you need organization you don't come and push people and say apostle is coming so what this is all of me how how big am i that you're asking everybody to shift can't i pass some of us are already enjoying it in our little fellowship you say when i'm coming you are the one who announced my coming you you escort me and i don't know where you are getting that mentorship from it's most certainly not from me i fear god and i've lived as transparent for you to see and learn many of us are learning nonsense we just go to any meeting and we are watching out of all that god is doing we are watching how ah, they gave the woman somebody came and just said oh man of god and you admire it and in your mind you are hoping in your own small fellowship too people now come and say you are standing kneel down. Kneel down. we are going to pray pride is a killer i've seen people who do you know there are people seated here i know them they are millionaires but you see them keep quiet you can match them and they won't say anything but they are wealthy people but there are others with nothing but noise yet it will make all kinds of noise let me tell you great people have a track record of humility that's why they became great you may see certain people there are great men and women of god there are people when i was coming in i saw people i was even saying ah this person is here great people just scattered inside and outside but there are others i am pastor this i am mrs this please we are going to pray brothers and sisters i know this in my little life pride is a killer some of us cannot greet elderly people again you see some of these are mothers and you just push them around and bring a curse upon yourself and your ministry never listen to learn from anything oh i think you should i know i know i know we are fumbling i know when learning becomes an embarrassment to you pride is eating you up you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you were mighty on your throne breaks forth down fountains of the deep and weep Kadosh you were mighty on your throne 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 listen the antidote to pride is a public acknowledgement of the value and the impute of others you don't tear down the achievement of others to prove you are great that's why you will never hear me open my mouth 
and mention the name of a man of God or a church or a ministry and castigate them. God is not just the God of Koinonia. There are many other men of God doing great things. And when people start saying, Apostle, you are the only one, I say, be silent. I know that's the voice of pride. That's the voice of a killer on his way to destroy me. I'd like you to lift your voice and say, Lord, let it die. Let it die. That affinity for the praise of men. Pray, pray. That affinity for the praise of men on the strength of my accomplishment. On the strength of my accomplishment. Oh God, I lay it down. I lay it down. I lay it down. I lay it down. Pray. Pray. That spirit of pride. That affinity for the praise of men. The praise of men. The praise of men. The praise of men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of one of the indices that to measure true humility is how much you acknowledge the impute of God in your success. Are we together? Because chances are that the truth is you have you you kept certain principles to get that result. So that people can look at you and say, Kai, no, 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 no. Pastor Alpha, at this level, you are already almost becoming a doctor and then a professor. Oh, you are doing this. I mean, you can imagine. And all of that is up to you to suddenly change to an usher and say, there is one as you see me. That's why, you see, when I go for meetings and the power of God is blessing people, there are all kinds of reactions. There are those putting their hands on their head. What kind of man is this? And I'm quick to tell them, no, what you see, this is a puppet. There is one behind me. There is one who is responsible. I don't say it indirectly. I say it directly. Make no mistake. There is one who can give and take the grace upon my life. I am absolutely nothing. Koinonia is absolutely nothing. Thank God for the clap for Joshua Selman. But I am telling you now that this man you are seeing is nothing without the grace and the wisdom of God. I am not embarrassed. I remember where God took me from. From sitting in a gutter to study my Bible and see what God has done. After many years, I've still refused to be a fool. I know that when you acknowledge God, he will lift you. i like you to say, Lord, in all my ways, I will acknowledge you. Lift your voice and pray. In all my ways, in all my accomplishments, in all my achievements, pray. In all my ways, I acknowledge you. In all my ways, I acknowledge you. When men try to blow the trumpet of me, I direct it to you. In all my ways, I acknowledge you. I will let men see how helpless I am outside of you. Those outside, are you praying? Lekoto koto besh e prakata lava manta parokotos rekete tete le ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. You get to a point in your life. Two more prayer points, and we're done. This prayer point is strategic because in the next two minutes, I want you to list everything in your life that looks like a trophy and say, Lord, it's because of you. If I've never said it, I'm saying it now. Lift your voice. If I have a degree, it's because of you. If I have a PhD, it's because of you. If I'm married, it's because of you. If I'm alive, it's because of you. If I am wealthy, is because of you lift your voice koinonia acknowledge him 
because of you you are my wisdom you are my wisdom you are my wisdom you are my wisdom the force behind this ministry Lord we acknowledge you Lord, I acknowledge you. You are the reason. You are the reason. For my greatness, you are the reason. Hey, for the anointing, you are the reason. Hey, you are the reason why I lift my hands, why I sing this song, why I sing to you. Help me, you are the reason. It's all because of you. Yeah. You are the reason. Yeah. You are the reason. 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 Just the voices. You are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason. Why am I alive? Why the hands of Satan did not destroy me? Why I passed the jump? Why I graduated? Why I got a man to marry me? Why I got a woman to marry me? Why I got a job? Why I got promotion? I will let the world know you are the reason. Yeah. You are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. I like you to say, Lord, from today, I become an usher pointing men to you. I become an usher. When they say, What's the secret of your wealth? I point them to you. What's the secret of your beauty? I point them to you. What's the secret of your exploit? Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I will let them know unashamedly unashamedly I will let them know pray when I'm tempted to receive your glory when I'm tempted to share your glory oh convict me convict me Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it in the name of Jesus. I declare that I will let the world know. I will announce to creation that Jesus Christ is the reason for my greatness, for my anointing, for my exploit. And whenever I am tempted 
to take his glory to be deceived by the accolades of men I receive grace to reject the praises of men to put a limit to the praises of men that I may reveal Christ in my success that I may reveal Christ in my lifting that I may reveal Christ in my greatness listen the purpose of your honor is to reveal Christ the purpose of the miracles is to reveal Christ if Christ is not revealed in your activities you are arrogant, arrogant. never trivialize the impute of Jesus Christ and say well I thank God for the grace of God but I labor stay there and let men know he's the reason I made up my mind that every time people clap to me I say you are clapping for the wrong person I'm telling you this and I say it with all my heart that's why you don't see people say oh God of Joshua Selman what, what do, how, how many things can I do who can I help I'm, I'm not against people who there is a place for that but I'm telling you brothers and sisters we are too young to begin to allow this foolishness destroy us I'm telling you this I speak to us specifically the young people we are too young to allow the foolishness of the praises of men destroy us we are to I can clap for daddy we can clap for our mothers they have earned the right through time but a small boy just moving and people begin to blow your head is a way of death we are too young we have read revivals we have read history Bible history and seen how pride destroyed men it was Alexander the way that got to a point where he claimed he was Elijah that's what pride can do to men please from tonight hear me pastors business people I like you to make up your mind if there are a circle of singers and messengers that keep clapping and blowing your head go back and tell them it's dissolved in Jesus name I love you I thank you for honoring me I receive the honor but let's bring it down to the limit of my level this honor is too much for the level I've not yet gone far you must have the grace to tell them they'll say no 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 daddy you need more tell them look if you call me father then honor me by doing what I'm telling you keep it that way there was a time I stopped the protocol because there were two protocol people carry, coming to, to take me I said this is nonsense please I'm not ready a particular PA of a notable man of God in this country one time a military man when he came for koinonia he was surprised he saw what God was doing and he said man of God you should not allow people to access you anyhow I mean this is terrible the, the grace they are abusing the grace they don't sow into your life they push you around people come and I, I was hearing a sincere man but I was hearing the counsel of Ajitofel sincere man the last time I heard about that man physically speaking he was doing well but spiritually he had died sleeping around doing all kinds of things that was the person who was advising me be careful whose advice you take as you sit down discussing ministry young people hear me as you sit down discussing life and God begins to bless you one million two million five million it blows up your head no you must maintain a life of modesty and be temperate in all things there is honor and stability when a man is humble it's difficult to accuse a humble man pride pride sponsors accusation when people say things against you your humility can bail you out hallelujah please lift up your request and let's prophesy upon it if you have it if you don't have that's all right for those of you who are just coming the lord gave us an instruction and the instruction is that throughout this fasting period you write two sets of lists you've been hearing the amazing testimonies the first list is a list of your expectations you are holding on to the horns of the altar and praying and say lord this is what i want to see happen on the positive the second part of the list represent your challenges the things that have mocked God in your life 
you write it and he said this Egyptians that you see you will see no more forever and the Lord said every day I should keep speaking speaking over it and on Friday prophetically we are going to set the list of those challenges on fire while he's burning we are going to lift up high praise the healer that praise that brought Jericho down please don't miss Friday Friday is like a miracle service plus invite everybody including your enemy we are going to burn these things while it is burning not before we are going to sing and jump before the God of heaven is called the healer is a mystery and let's see the devil that will tie your destiny and keep you there please remember that every day we are breaking with communion we are breaking with communion if you do not take my blood and my my flesh and my blood you have no part in me it's very important hallelujah praise the lord please lift it up to the god of heaven as we pray Ezekiah lifted the threat the threat and said oh God bow down your ears bow down your eyes and see this threat father you have instructed us and we are obedient I'm praying in the name that is above all names once again every challenge every altar listen I was speaking to a lady this this afternoon and her, her issue challenged me brothers and sisters there are altars that sponsor some of these pains we are going to judge it tonight lift lift up your hand. in the name that is above all names every altar sponsored by the gates of hell that keep these challenges to be repeated in our lives it catches fire tonight in the name of jesus it catches fire tonight it catches fire tonight in the name of Jesus every spirit entity every human entity responsible for your pain responsible for your setback responsible for your weakness responsible for your delay your joblessness in the name that is above all names we command the sword of judgment 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 hallelujah after nine plagues pharaoh refused that israel will not go there was a time he said you can go but leave your wives and your children i like you there's no negotiation in this fasting time i can't go my health cannot go and leave my finances behind my, my finances cannot go and leave my marriage behind in the name that is above all names every power i say it again holding your marriage your destiny your business in the name of jesus i set it on fire now 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 hallelujah every spirit that has tied down the joy of your family so that there is only sounds of mourning there are families that never rejoice they are crying all the time i pray for you let the voice of the accuser be silenced by the blood be silenced by the blood be silenced by the blood, by the blood. hallelujah the Bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to put an end to it hallelujah everything on your list that you are trusting God for that must happen we are praying there is an energy there is an ability of the Holy Spirit that makes it happen no matter how impossible it is oh God that answers prayer I pray that this this request will be turned into testimonies now turned into testimonies now turned into testimonies now hallelujah turned into testimonies I pray for you finally on that list 
tonight as you sleep as a token of victory I pray may God give you strange dreams and visions tonight as a token of victory I activate your spirit man to receive signals dreams visions dreams see your victory in your dreams see your victory in visions see your victory in your dreams hallelujah listen you will have strange dreams tonight you will see yourself receiving things as it happens in your dream it must appear in the physical as it happens in the spirit it must appear in the physical hallelujah there was one of our mothers here the boy is doing architecture now the boy came stubborn he smokes everything drinks everything the woman was tired of him and she kept coming with her heart open one day the fire of God fell upon that boy's head let me tell you when God locates you no, no devil no devil hallelujah you've once had the story of promise promise remember his story he shared it here he came to Zaria with dreadlocks dreadlocks locks Bob Marley dreadlocks and earrings that's what he came to Zaria with but when the fire fell see what the fire can do the fire can change anybody let me tell you something please add the list of your unsaved loved ones if you have not done so don't say God cannot change them who told you Saul was on his way to Damascus fire fell on him I like you to pray and say Lord anyone in my family who is not saved may fire fall on them this night lift your voice and pray one minute my father must be saved my mother must be saved an encounter an encounter an encounter an encounter give them dreams let them see Jesus visions of heaven visions of hell give them encounters pray for your brother pray for your sister we snatch them from the hands of alcohol pornography immorality we snatch them from the gates of hell in the name of Jesus we snatch them we release the convicting power of the Holy Ghost pray for your father pray for your mother hallelujah revelations 5 verse 12 we're rounding up please as you go back listen let's use this fasting period to pray for our loved ones don't complain about them there is a spirit making them behave the way they are behaving stop attacking individuals challenge those spirits wake up in the night don't just snore your way this is a period of spiritual awakening one o'clock two o'clock lake baratada knock the gates of heaven lord i i take this stubborn lady i bring her before the altar Liko Tobakatata, and let the fire fall on them don't sit down and be discussing and say you see you need to stop following men that's not the way out solve the problem there are spirits that manipulate the destinies of men Revelations 5 verse 12 saying with a loud voice what is the lamb that was slain to receive what power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor the Bible says by humility are riches and honor I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ because of the spirit of humility upon you may the God that I serve lift you yes. ay, 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 ay. where men have laughed at you and buried your case like Lazarus we call that case out and we say it's the season of exaltation 
everything dying in your life i speak to it in this year of multiplied grace and influence rise to a new level rise to a new dimension prophetically rise to a new dimension spiritually rise to a new dimension financially rise to a new dimension hallelujah please sit down for one minute and have the prophetic focus for tomorrow it gets hotter by the day and i'm encouraging us please from tomorrow wednesday down till friday please don't miss the meetings again because it's going to be prophetic we have been establishing principles now from tomorrow we are going to be confronting things controlling spirits territorial powers are we together we are not just teaching principles again is rising hotter because there are entities who are alive and can hear us we need to force them to give way for the opening of our destiny so please please if you can invite your family members no even if they are stubborn just leave them they can be playing around just leave them there when the fire falls and that spirit that is responsible leaves them they will step into a new dimension hallelujah tomorrow the prophetic focus we are going to be praying the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers there is no man that can rise to any way of worth without a connection to another man the breakthrough of every man is in the hands of another man the employment of everybody is in the hands of somebody every billion that will come to your account is in somebody's account already it won't fall from heaven but there is a mystery that connects men write these two scriptures we have to pray please i'd like you to pay attention tomorrow by god's grace we'll give more time please those conducting when you come do everything you have to do fast so that we can have the prayer session and i want us to really stretch and pray because you need a man introduced in your life this week there is somebody that must appear to wipe your tears somebody shared with me a testimony today it is something i can't share here many of you will not even believe it a breakthrough god just brought somebody and just connected him i'm talking of multi millions just came like rain for doing nothing that's what the same way a wicked man can come into your life and not just subtract divide your life into two a lady was behaving well until a stupid boy came into her life and divided her life a gentleman was doing well until a very bad girl came into his life satan uses men to destroy men god uses men to build men are we together tomorrow we are going to also be seeing the prophetic implication of association please listen that you are not a true christian if it does not affect your association don't say i'm the only one the rest are drinking but i'm not taking it no if you are a child of god your atmosphere matters in your life please don't miss it there are people who must hear this message second samuel second samuel the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers second samuel 9 verse 1 to 11 you read there the story of Mephibosheth. Mark chapter 2. Those who will be leading it will expound on it. Mark chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. Second Samuel 9, verse 1 to 11. Please, we give this prophetic focus so that you can pray. Right? You pray. So beginning from tonight, when you go back, you begin to pray, Lord who are the men that must appear in my life as a sister you pray not just husband who are the people who must show up in my life there are some of us who have seen patterns in our lives the moment god is about to lift you certain people show up they call you former relationships how are you now can you come to judge you are we together and strange things happen and if god grants us grace either tomorrow or next we will consider unwanted partners wicked spirits that visit us we're not just talking of destiny helpers like just people coming 
there are destiny killers and we need to identify them and deal with them there are many people when god is about to lift you a strange man who claims he knows you comes to you in the dream sleeps with you or does all kinds of things and you get up somebody who was going to bless you will say i've changed my mind they told you it does not matter see what is happening in your life we are going to deal with it in the name of jesus by the grace of god we believe the full gospel in koinonia we will deal with everything that should be dealt with many ladies are under the trap of this thing i'm telling you it's just that we are not sincere in church so everybody will just claim they just say just act as if nothing is happening something is happening and there is a mystery to it hallelujah someone will ask you out about to marry you say let's go and see your parents that strange man comes again say you are playing with me you wake up in the morning and the brother says i don't know what happened but something is convicting me that you're a wicked lady i don't want you whereas you're a kind beautiful nice worker in the house of god it's not just about saying god give me this give me that there are spirits strangers that come to connect us this is the mystery of things like fibroid this this demonic growth all over the bodies of people and if there is anybody here having anything planted in you i'm prophesying it before we close anything that is planted in your body that did not come from god in the name of jesus christ like dagon fell before the ark it must flush out of your body tonight i'm saying it again it must flush out of your body tonight every stranger who has planted any growth lump on your breast whatever it is around your body i just felt like doing this before we leave and in the name of jesus i'm saying it any growth around any part of your body from your head to your toe sponsored by any wicked stranger we judge it tonight in the name of jesus use this fasting period to fight everything that is not of god don't say it's not paining me it must go it must go because it may not pain you now until it starts growing and they will tell you it's cancer nip it and kill it there and it must die hallelujah it says from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom suffered violence it advances forcefully and only forceful men advance it so please don't tolerate anything anything that mocks you take it to the list anything that mocks you take it to the my eye i mean i'm feeling pain take it there don't sit down and say it's all right it happens every dry season take it there it must be dealt with hallelujah yes ladies please take it seriously don't say oh my own is something i'm used to i grew up with it like that please write it and say god this is not normal i've been keeping quiet about it but now i won't be silent with it again hallelujah tomorrow i like us to listen to two messages please activating breakthroughs the ministry of destiny help us no matter how many times you've listened to it please i'm going to listen to it this night almost right away when i go back please listen to it i teach there on the ministry of destiny help us and that's going to be our emphasis please fast i beg you in the name of jesus uh the children can fast maybe till afternoon and then you stop if you are pregnant or you're on advice medication you may avoid the fast but still pray praise the lord make sure that everybody participates fully participate fully tell your family members tell them there is a fasting period if they can't fast for seven days let's take the last three days and stretch it very well let's take the last three days hallelujah wednesday thursday friday let's not joke with it god will grant us grace in the name of jesus christ please rise up on your feet we honor everyone who has made it from far and near i pray that my god will bless you there are so many people when i was coming i was saying i'm so touched by the diligence of people people standing almost every day please make sure you invite all your loved ones and tell them fire is burning on this mountain hallelujah lord we give you all the praise in the name of jesus after the grace i'd like you to hug 20 people greet everyone around you if you can and tell them the lord is taking you higher in the name of jesus the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit 
be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.